Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Time for another round of An Urban World. I do enjoy this map set. I'm going to give myself a time limit here of 2 minutes 30 seconds. Let's see how we do. Loading the first location now. Okay, this is interesting. Um, possibly American, this city, or maybe Canadian. 8 with an E Avenue. That makes me think that this is actually in French. Um... And if it is in French, but looks like it's in the sort of north, um, northern America, then possibly Canada. Let's have a look and see if we can skip ahead to, I don't know, some kind of junction where we see a business or something and get a little more information. Okay, so Montreal, um, you know, is, is one option. Um, let's have a look. Here we go. Here's some more French. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Centre Horizon. And there's a great big church down there. We've got dollars over there. So I do think we're in Canada in the northeast, perhaps. Um, what is this building here? Will this yield any clues? No, we do have a flag, though. Interesting flag. Unfortunately, I don't recognize it. So can't go off that. This looks like it could actually be a fire station. Um, so that would be interesting. Is that a sign on the side of the building there? No. Okay. If not, then I'm going to work my way back towards, I see that there's a church up ahead down there um, with on the left hand side. What is this truck? Does that say anything? This might be the only clue that we have. So I'm going to work off the truck. We've just got 46 more seconds. Mm, and unfortunately, it's just a bit blurry, isn't it? So, not sure about that truck. Final sign down here. Les vous something something dot ca. Yes. Okay. So we know that we're in Canada. Well, look, I'm going to have to make a guess with half and half a minute to go. Um, possibly on the outskirts of Montreal. Although I'm not sure if it is. I'm going to go with Quebec City up here. Um, I think that that might just be might just be closer to it. Why don't we say we're down here in Santa Foy and see if the guess uh, is right. Maybe we're in Shawnee, but uh, I'll stick with where I am. Oh, and look at that. What a guess. Yes, fantastic. I chose the, the wrong side of Quebec City, but otherwise we were pretty close. And actually, I see they're now first and third. Um, so, you know, it's not far away to eighth, I assume, which is what we saw. All right, next round. Well, that was pretty good, I think, actually. We had the right city on a guess, so that's exciting. Another North American kind of looking city here, but possibly not. Looks a bit warmer than where we were before. Um, don't see anything in the immediate vicinity, so I'm going to get a move on and go down this road. It looks like a relatively big road to me and see what we can see down here. So let's, yeah, okay, get to the intersection, look left and right and see if there's anything else down here. Now we've got some businesses down here, so this might help. What are we looking at? We're looking at Leichnalt Keys. Okay, that's a bit strange. Um, the sun there is firmly in the north, so that's interesting. Lational Keys. Does that is that a South African name by any chance? Uh, Department of Fisheries, Government of Western Australia. Is that what that says? I think it is. In which case, we know where we are. Department of Fisheries, Gov Bunbury District Office. All right. Okay. Let's get to Western Australia down here. Uh, the only major town here, I think, is Perth. Uh, so going to put in Bunbury. Yes just seen it on the map. We know we're on the coast, presumably. A, that is where everybody lives. And B, um, and B, are we around here? Um, we know we're on the coast because we're, you know, we've got this fisheries office here, which is, um, which is something useful. Now, we've got there some water to the north immediately to the north which is why i'm putting myself here where we've got some water we might be here on the inner harbor as well um, but we can see sort of across the water there that there's something 
you know that the, there is more land and, and more to see so perhaps we're even where i've got us there the parade bunbury the happy wife <laughs> coffee company uh not sure and of course we started one or two streets back so perhaps down here um i don't think we've quite found the exact spot but let's just have a look at a few more of these businesses i think we're pretty close Eight seconds to go, you know, I'm unlikely to change my guess now. But yes, we're possibly here, or maybe we're on Kumbara, Kumbana Drive. Um, oh, and would you look at that? We started in exactly the right spot. We'd worked our way down Hayes Street, up the roads here, and on to Austral Parade. Okay, next round. Didn't see the businesses there, though, so some scope for uncertainty. The sun there, firmly in the north again. Okay, interesting. This is altogether a much dustier looking place. I think we might be in Bolivia or somewhere like that. Um, no tarmac here on the roads, um, apart from this one. So this is clearly a more major route. Um, possible Argentine colours here on this vehicle and in the distance as well on the wall. So maybe we're in Argentina, but this does not look like a wealthy area in Argentina, that is for sure. And I think, you know, places in Argentina are usually a bit more built up, to be honest. Um, so what do we have here? It's just the Argentine colours on the vehicles that I'm seeing and thinking about, um, all told. So do we have anything here on this sign? Aluminium coverings, okay, maybe not. Um, hmm, a minute and 25 to go, so still worth pursuing anything on these buses not really at all huh? is there um and let's go here no not sure i think we're at sort of a place with a fair bit of altitude uh, to be honest uh it feels like we're high up here and i know that a lot in in uh, south america is at altitude like around la paz and so on you know, famously very, um, famously very high. Uh, we've got there the sports stadium that looks like behind that. Uh, Rossio. 39 seconds to go. Got to keep an eye on the clock and we'll have to put down a guess at some point. Uh, just trying to get to this major junction down here, to be honest. Yes, this is more like it. Um, wish we'd had gotten here a bit earlier, but can we see anything again? Mm, possibly on this billboard. Nope, still Spanish speaking, we definitely see that. And YPFB, well look, I don't recognize any of that. I think I'm gonna go somewhere around here, so let's just get in. Um, possibly we're in Peru, Cusco, what about Cusco? Why don't we say we're up there? I think that Cusco is at altitude, you know? It looks like the sort of big enough city-ish. Oh, and we were in Bolivia. I think I mentioned that. We were in Oruro in Bolivia. Right, okay. I think we've been placed here before, interestingly enough. And uh, we've a while back now, and we travelled around the 12, and we saw the Lake Uru Uru, um, which is perhaps where this town gets its name from, or, or vice versa. Um, and that is what led us to this place, but we had an unlimited time limit. <laughs> I saw no signs for the airport. We were in the right part of the world, but that's about it. Altogether more built up here. This looks like it could be in uh, the US. And more specifically, I'm looking at this plate here and I s I'm seeing, at least I think I'm seeing, the New York plate there with the orange. So we've got here State Street. State Street's quite a famous street, I think, in Boston, State of Madison. What is this? This is clearly some governmental building. Yes, we've got the US flag, so that's confirmed. State Street, South State. So possibly Boston. But this, this should say, we've got here, sports, music, arts. Onondaga County War Memorial. Onondaga, assisted living, the musical. Ono Center Carrier Theatre, Onondaga. Where the F is that? Madison and State, I'm sure there's plenty of State Streets and this doesn't feel big enough to be Boston. 
We've got a minute and 23 seconds left. South State Street. We've got here the Nutcracker. All right, okay. Well, clearly, Ono Center, Syracuse City Ballet. All righty then. Fantastic. We've got some clues. Syracuse is in New York, I think. Um, I know that there's just a big... Um, Is it down here? No, it isn't. Poughkeepsie. Sogates. Albany. Putting down a safety pin in case we don't find it. Utica. Is it out in West Syracuse? Yes, it is. There it is. West New York. Okay. Uh, we're clearly in the city center because we've got a state street. I think that that is pretty pretty famous and we're on South State Street aren't we so um, possibly this is State Street nope it is not but we're close I'm absolutely sure of it we've got Jefferson Franklin State Street is just sort of the name it's like you know the high street almost I think so we're, we're pretty State Street here yes ah oh, just a second or two off I found it eventually but couldn't put a pin down so glad to have Put one down here on Selina Street, and I should have seen State Street as this more arterial road through the city. Uh, it would have only been a matter of se seconds there until we found the on center as well, which I think is where we where we'd gotten to. So brilliant, we were in Syracuse. All right, uh, Société Générale Bank here. So we're possibly in France, um, maybe Belgium uh, or Ponte Gestion Location. The English Institute, okay, uh, or possibly Switzerland is what I was going to say. Got here some pretty major signs and so on, so we should be able to get this. La Poste, okay, gestion. I, I'm pretty sure then with La Poste there, that means that we're in um, Canada and the Impressionism. I don't think that means we're in Canada. That's just a um, a sort of exhibit that is clearly on at the time. What do we have down here? Yes, this is interesting. Quite a major building down there where we should be able to figure out where we are. I think I'm starting to recognize this town as in we've been here before, but I cannot remember for the life of me where it is. Is that the tourist office? It is possibly the tourist office, so I'm going to head in that direction. See if we can't get over there. We can do, but it's kind of taking me a bit slowly. I can't, unfortunately, click over too far ahead. We're getting there slowly. I'm working my way towards this building. This is the building I want to see. Office de Tourism. I want to be on the other side of it, and I don't want to waste too much more time getting there because that is the sign I'm looking for. And unfortunately, I cannot read it. Um... Nope. Library Sorhomp. Shoot. Can't find it there, unfortunately. So that is a bit of a pain. Um, we're going to have to choose a French city in a second. What do we have? Can we see anything just on the scan? Moco, M-O-C-O. I think we went down there earlier and looked at that building, but we're going to have to make a guess unfortunately because I think we're just around the corner from finding the clue so let's look at France let's take a guess as to where we are uh, we're possibly in Rennes so I'm gonna go for Rennes and say that we're in the city center there we're clearly in the city center could be anywhere else nope we were not in Rennes we were in Montpellier well I think we would have found that eventually we were bang in the city center uh, unfortunately just guessed and guessed wrong so there you go, that's the nature of the game, isn't it? Okay, by Place de la Comédie. All right, well, view summary. Game finished, well done. 21,108 points in total. I think on the whole, that's pretty good. We did well in Canada, well in Australia. Uh, you know, close enough in Bolivia and Peru. Um, we also got the one in, uh, in Syracuse. And finally, in France, we were a bit off. But uh, at least in the right country and sort of in the right neck of the woods, I suppose. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.